services within your newsroom. So this is going to be um, a whole bunch of things that you can do from editorial uh, right up to having a breaking news strategy and so forth. So we're going to just go kind of a broad brush on a few best practices because again, there's about a million things that you can encourage your staff to do, but I want you to focus on a few that are going to get really good results and just get them doing these basics first consistently, and then you can become a little bit more uh, jazzy with what you're doing and try some different strategies. But let's get the basics down first. All right, from an editorial standpoint, post with purpose. So we have editorial meetings, we talk about you know what we're going to put in the newscast and why. But more often than not, those conversations are not being had about social media, and they really should be. So for example, debates. Anything that anyone has an opinion about is great for social media. Make sure that those are making the list of things that get posted. Uh, any kind of a talker, something new, something things, you know, folks think is interesting, you know, anything like that, those are always great topics. Breaking, uh, breaking news is great on Twitter and on Facebook, just because it's new, it's different, gets people talking as well and great pictures, especially on Facebook. Facebook has become more and more a visual platform. So if you have a great picture, that's something that goes really, really well on Facebook and Twitter um, and social channels. So think about great pictures uh, for your content as well. Um, and then unique content. You know, you wanna make sure that you're not just regurgitating what's on Facebook and you know what's on your broadcast, but really finding unique and different things to post on your Facebook and your Twitter accounts that make your fans and followers really feel VIP in a sense. So this can be viewer content. If you're getting a lot of really cool stuff in from viewers and you can't put all of it on the air, you can't put all of it on your website, share it. Post it out, and that's an interesting way that you can give folks something different. Um, the same with behind the scenes footage. Everybody loves that. It's a great and really simple way to engage your, your Facebook fans and followers with something new and different. Because that's, again, not something they're gonna see on your website or your broadcast for the most part. So it's something that you can really easily give to them um, through social media. And then watch for trends. Um, when you're thinking editorially about what you're going to post, um, pay attention to what works and what doesn't. So you can look at your analytics on Facebook. You can see um, this post, the fourth one down, has a really a pop of engaged users, a whole bunch of folks. Um, so say, well, gee, what was that? That was something that people were really talking about, really interested in. It was this particular story. Um, and so maybe there's a follow-up opportunity there. Or at a very minimum, you can you know, think about what made that post uh, resonate with your fans and do more of that type of thing. And retweets, if you see stories that are getting a lot of retweets, you know, pay attention to that and take note of the types of things that work really well with your Facebook followers and think about posting more stories along those lines, follow-ups along those lines, um, because really, you know, your audience will tell you what they like and what they don't. <coughs> Next, some basic mechanics principles. So, calls to action. So this is something you should definitely be encouraging on Facebook.